I'm having such fun, such, such, such fun. So, ah, writing our book, day 10 already. Is that crazy? We were talking about evil nannies and I just, oh my gosh, that was the best thing that I ever, 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 ever did. So then I was talking to this wonderful lady and describing our dynamic family and our crazy lives and the chaos and so, so how busy we were and then, and then our three full-time boys and Jesse who came in came and went as our fourth boy, our boy dog, Duke. He was a beagle. Oh, he was such a great dog, such a great dog. And she said to me, Sandy, I know exactly the nanny for you, but I'll send you 10 resumes so you can decide. <laughs> she went on to explain to me that mountain girls from the Philippines will stay in small remote towns, but the city girls can't stand small remote towns. <laughs> Done. I told her that if she thinks she knows the right nanny for me, I seriously don't need to read one other resume. I know my job and this person clearly knows hers. Elsa stepped off the plane March 31st, 2006, wearing flip-flops right into snow. <laughs> I swear, she wanted to turn and run screaming. She had never seen snow before. <laughs> oh my gosh. Our youngest boys greeted her at the airport with flowers. They were three and six years old and had no idea how blessed they were about to become. Elsa watched our seemingly successful lives and family disintegrate before her eyes with absolutely no way to help or stop fate from kicking us for not having balance. Big time. I was diagnosed by a naturopath with chronic fatigue syndrome, classic burnout. I was 75 pounds overweight and my marriage was over. My kids were about to be thrown into two of Fort Nelson's ugliest divorces ever. Mine and Doug McKee's. Doug was, is, and will forever be my true knight in shining armor. Although he could and cannot save me and no person other than me can, he's my angel, my best friend, and the most patient, passionate, loving man I could have ever dreamt up. Did I mention patient? <laughs> As my dad loves to point out, he is and he isn't. <laughs> As yes, you and the community know what we, some of what we've been through. He still loves me more than life. He had no idea what attaching his car to this roller coaster <laughs> life of Sandy would be like. I'm not sure if he would choose it over knowing everything that he knows today. And I don't need to know. <laughs> That's his. I have plenty of my own. Doug and Garnet were friends. Garnet got all of his trucks repaired and blinged up at Doug's truck repair shop. Our families began to hang out and do stuff together, including going to Vegas for Doug and his ex-wife's 20th anniversary, which was an absolute riot, except for the fact that Garnet and I were coming apart. That was definitely the downside to that trip. That was in July. Garnet and I split up when we got home from Vegas. Backed out of buying the big house on acreage, Doug cried for us. I don't recall how long Garnet and I stayed split at that very blurry era in my life. We were working too much, drinking too much, and were the least healthy people in the least healthy marriage possible. We bought the big house. It was my dream home. Huge windows overlooking the Rocky Mountains. Yet apparently it was one of the final breakdown points in our relationship. Garnet asked me to be Doug McKee's campaign manager when he decided to run for town council. Of course I would help. Marketing is my strength for sure. And the universe took over. Doug was super happy and excited to have been elected to represent the people of our community. He would call me or stop by my office to bounce ideas in his early elected role. I don't recall exactly when it was, but December 2008, I believe, about a month after 
elections while standing up in front of the reception area of my office, talking to a client, the door opened and a very upset and aggressive Shelly McKee came marching in with something to discuss. Melissa, my French office manager, literally cut Shelly off before she could interrupt my client. It was very clear that Shelly was upset about something. She asked to talk to me and into my office we went. Then came the bizarre attack. Now understand, like I was Doug's campaign manager. There was nothing, there was nothing going on. So it had been a long time since, oh, so the attack, it had been a long time since I had been called fat. Interesting how the human species can find the weakness in another and then smash them. Unknown to me, one evening, Shelley had asked Doug if he was attracted to me. Doug said yes. Shelley didn't tell me this. She only very aggressively asked me to stop talking to her husband. I told her yes, of course I would stop talking to him. I'm sorry if I've done or said something to upset you. I will never forget what she said next. And Sandy, just so you know, Doug would never be with somebody bigger than me. I was like, what? Did you just, what? Say what? I'm the fat chick? Then she said something like, oh, don't get me wrong, you're beautiful. I went right back to those playground days when the bullies told everyone they were fat, they were ugly, they were stupid, or my teen years when I heard over and over again, Sandy, you'd be so pretty if you lost 20 pounds. I was devastated and pissed. Shelly left and my dad, who was working in the office behind mine, <laughs> Walked down the hall laughing. And you'll have to tune in tomorrow to hear what my dad had to say about me being called fat and not potentially a candidate. <laughs> Which just bizarre, bizarre moments in my life that is pretty is pretty raw. That one that one honestly stands out for me because I still go straight to that to that insecurity and that not good enough conversation etc 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 so keep in mind so this would have been 30 pounds i would have been probably 30 pounds 25 for sure heavier than i am today but i i had lost like 30 35 pounds or something so i was feeling pretty good but i certainly wasn't trying to steal anybody's husband so anyways anyways enough of that it became very interesting in our little town but i will tell you more about that tomorrow Mwah! have a beautiful incredible kick butt day